my awesome planner friends. Holy cow, did you see that intro? I have to talk about that for just a second because, well, I kept the music the same, but I decided to create a new intro and I've been procrastinating on it for a few months because I knew it wasn't going to be easy, but I finally figured it out and y'all, I am so stoked for it. Hi, if you're new here, my name is Ashley and I get excited over little things. <laughs> uh, today we are going to be uh, planning inside of my catch-all happy planner. I'm going to be using the Flower Power sticker book. I will have all this stuff that is available linked down below in the description box. Now these couple of little packs of stickers, I created these when I was in nursing school and I took, oh gosh, many different sticker books and I would cut out stickers that I used all the time and then I clipped them together. So I don't really know exactly which sticker books all of these are from, it's just from an a assortment of sticker books and I put them all together and I used to use those every week whenever I was planning inside of nursing school. Now, today is Tuesday. You're, I'm uploading this on a Tuesday and I filmed this on a Tuesday. And I wanna share that with you because I want you to know that sometimes I don't get my spreads done or my planner all set up and ready to go before the week starts. Sometimes it's Wednesday and Thursday before I do. Usually if it happens after Thursday, like let's say I haven't set my spread up and it's Friday. I usually won't go back and, and uh, plan in it and set it up. I won't back plan. I don't mind back planning for a few days, but when weeks are really busy like that, I just leave them blank. And it's just a reminder to me that it happens and it's all good. But I just want to share that with you guys. It's Tuesday. I didn't have my planner set up and ready to go for the week in case that happens to you because it happens to all of us and it is all good. I also want to tell you that starting in February, I will be going from a lined vertical happy planner into a horizontal happy planner. Um, if you watched my setup video where I set up my planners for 2021, I couldn't decide between these two planner planners as my catch-all planners. And initially I was going to alternate week by week, but I decided to go month by month. So for January, I've used the lined vertical. I've really enjoyed it. It's been really fun. However, for February, I'm going into the horizontal and I have to say I'm pretty stoked about it because the horizontal planner I'm going to be using is pretty darn neutral. And this line vertical planner is, is kind of bright to me and has a lot of colors to it, which always every week makes me feel like I need to color coordinate to the colors that are already on the page. And while it's fun, I've enjoyed it. I really love the line vertical layout. I'm ready for a change. I'm ready for neutral and I'm ready to be able to kind of use whatever stickers I want. Now I do love these florals that I'm using in this video. Actually, I always tell people this, if you're ever stuck on a spread and you're like, I don't know what stickers to use, you can always fall back on florals and squad girls. And I'm telling you, they will pull through every single time. For whatever reason, those are the two like basic sets of stickers that when you're stuck, your, your spread's just gonna turn out super cute. So I don't mind doing the florals. I think they turned out really fun. I love them, they match the colors, but I do have some other stickers that I'm wanting to use, some other ideas, and I think that having a more neutral planner is going to allow me to do that. So I'm really excited to dive into that horizontal planner in February, and if that's something that you wanna see, if you're not subscribed yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I love using box stickers to note priorities for each day of the week. It's one of my favorite ways to be able to make something stand out if I have appointments or things that I need to get done that are like most important. I love using box stickers for that. But you'll see here shortly, I also pull in some little triangle like flag style stickers. And I use those for repeating tasks that are also important, but I don't want to put them inside of the box stickers. So I, um, I'll just go ahead and tell you now, whenever I use the little flag stickers, those are for my son's homework, which will be Monday through Friday. So you'll see Monday through Friday, I place those down. But then I also add another set of them Monday through Sunday, and that's for my study schedule. So I can write out those two things. Those are both top priorities for the day. Definitely important things that we have to get done. 
but it's not things that'll go inside of the box stickers. The box stickers are for like appointments or schedule, um, different things like that that are also a priority, but whatever's in the box, whatever's in the flag stickers, those are what I focus on more than whatever's on a general to-do list. For this sticker here that says remember, what I was initially going to do was create a general to-do list for the week. So this would be me listing out things that could happen any day of the week and I may, I may leave it that way. It's actually still that way inside of my planner, I haven't changed it yet. But what I'm thinking about doing is turning it into a gratitude list because I've done gratitude, uh, gosh, for a couple of months now over on the left side of my planner and I love having a gratitude list. So I probably will change it out. I just wanted to let you know that that was my initial plan and I'm still debating on it. But for the uh, stickers that say today the plan to do and get it done that I'm putting on each day of the week, those are day specific to-do lists. But again, these are not my priorities. This is just a general to-do list of things that I would like to get done or things that I did do when I go back in and write it in my planner. You know what I mean? So it's like, oh, I've been super productive today and you get to check off something. <laughs> so things that go here are like uh, my cleaning schedule, if I'm decluttering, organizing things, uh, if we need to order something online, if I need to track shipping for something, if there's uh, some kind of research I want to do, just like literally anything and everything. I also write in that I need to work out every day, so I put that in there. So it's just a general to-do list. And I will sometimes pull in things from my social media planner into my to-do list in my catch-all planner. Because let's say I'm filming, like I have a day of filming, that usually takes up a big chunk of time. And so I can kind of look and see, okay, wait a minute, I'm filming. I also have my son's homework and I'm studying. Those three things take up a large chunk of my time during the day. So I don't want to plan for a ton of other things because then I'm over planning. And when you over plan, you get overwhelmed. When you get overwhelmed, you need a nap and you don't end up doing anything. So then your to-do list gets even longer. And I've talked about this before, but if you're very overwhelmed with your plans, if you feel like there's never enough time or you're never accomplishing anything, I wanna challenge you to stop over planning your days and kind of, I don't like saying it this way because sometimes I think it sounds mean, I'm not trying to be mean, but be realistic with what you can accomplish. I am guilty of this, I will over plan because I'm like, oh my gosh, I can do all these things today and I have 15 things planned for the day. The end of the day gets here and I realize I accomplished like eight of them. So then I'm like, well, I wasn't productive. And then I beat myself up and I'm hard on myself, so, I just want to challenge you to start being more realistic with your plans so we're not creating that overwhelm and that stress and that constant like go, go, go feeling. I have been pulling more white space into my day and you guys, it has been like this massive uh, weight has been lifted off my shoulders. So I want to encourage you to, you know, try not to over plan and then also plan for white space and to be able to do more of the things that you want to do and just have downtime and chill time and time to play with your kids or if you want to declutter and organize something, you have time to do those things. So I want to challenge you to that. I know it's hard to do sometimes, but once you get into a groove with it, it does get easier. So for these stickers that are little glasses stickers, before I put the flag stickers down, I was using the glasses. And I was going to do the glasses for each day of the week for my son's homework. But this is when I changed my mind and decided not to do that. So the glasses stickers that I wrote down, I'm currently reading Atomic Habits phenomenal book so far let me know if you guys want to want me to do a book review on it because I absolutely will but anyways I'm reading that book I'm loving it um, and I decided to use the glasses stickers to note what I'm reading because I, I have a couple of books going on right now but then this is where I'm putting in the flag stickers so the there's gonna be two flag stickers for each day except for Saturday and Sunday one flag sticker like I said earlier is for my son's homework the other one is for me to study these, along with what is inside of the boxes, are my priorities for the day, not the general to-do list. I feel like I've been talking your head off in this video. But I'm gonna go ahead and give you the word of the video. I think that's what I was calling it. But for those of you who watch until the end, this is my way of acknowledging you 
and showing my appreciation to you. So the word of this video is going to be hot chick. And I chose hot chick because I have a mug in front of me that is for Easter and it says hot chick on it and that's, that's just what we're going with today. So that's the word. Comment down below so I can see that you've watched until the end. Truly that means a lot to me and I love you and I thank you for it. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Have an incredible day, my friend, and I will see you in the next video.